turbos are almost gone, but there's still time. If you head to cleatsmanfrown.com, grab even a sticker or a t-shirt, you might end up with one of these precision 76 millimeter turb skis in your order. Evan P of Kalispell, Montana. We're dropping a turb ski in your order today. But listen guys, this turbo is tiny compared to what I'm about to show you. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Far on YouTube channel. Month of Freedom. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. This is the most expensive, baddest engine that has ever been on the channel. This is a spicy, spicy unit that we bought from Steve Morris Race Engines. This is a gnarly unit, guys. No more LS. You're done, bud. Do we do the turbos first, or do we do the engine? I go for the gold. Yeah, I want to see it, too. Uh, get these turbos out of here. <laughs> we know what those look like. These are also the largest turbo boxes we've ever had in the shop. You break this box out of FedEx, man. You're done yeah. for. <laughs> Fifty dollar box of lag bolts in this thing. Thousand dollars of lumber. <laughs> so I don't want to say that the LS platform is bad. We've had so much fun and good times with our LS. The problem is that thing's absolutely tapped on power. We're making yeah. two thousand horsepower, and it's not real sustainable to do it every pass because it's just it just couldn't handle it. Yeah. I think there's a world where you could do that if you had like the baddest unit ever. But a big man, power, small, a small block, man. It's a it's a little engine pushing it, taking out a lot of boost. So now we have a big engine that's gonna be able to handle them horse torques. How big is it, brother? This here's a 540 cubic inch <laughs> big block, brother. Big block, Chevy. Oh. I'll let them see. I'm gonna turn around. Oh, there's nothing to see. Oh, nothing okay. to see. I looked. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't I even look a that bit. big. They got to build one hell of an engine and maybe put something <laughs> exactly. like that. Exactly. Golly. Oh, brother. So is this top to bottom said and done? It's top to bottom, brother. Nice, dude. Oh, goodness gracious. This sucker's assembled. Nothing we can screw up. Yeah, Probably. I told him, don't let us work on it. You just <laughs> said it done so we can plug it in and roll. Oh my gosh, look at that little piece right there. <laughs> Brother. This is insane, dude. This is oh, next man. level right here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. What is that? Base tune. Base tune? What? And a flash drive. <laughs> what? Dude. They sent a tune over that thing? There's literally a bass tune on a chip right there. Good lord, dude. Just look at that thing. Don't put look it on a chip. Belt drive, dude, dude, look at the throttle body on that thing. Holy Toledo. A lot of notes. God dang, dude. This thing is bad to a deep bone. They put a tune up in a flash drive. Is that freaking legit? Probably good for 3,000 wheel horsepower. So I don't know what that would make at the engine, but this thing's gonna be able to put down several more horse torques than that engine and do it reliably, is the idea. Two injectors per cylinder, just on this top fuel rail. And then if you look down here, we got the uh, lower fuel rail and that's just gonna be for pump gas driving. So fully billet, Steve Morris intake. These are his custom intakes. Got that motionraceworks.com throttle body already on there. Shee you said it came with extra push rods too? Yeah, box of extra push rods. You said, yeah, you might bend some of those. Yeah, that's a big buck thing to bend some push rods here. Oh, thanks. Boys, Jess, little dude, setting us up. Gnarly set of rockers. Sucker's gonna go yeah, hard, dude. All right, so we went aluminum block to try and save a little bit of weight because obviously the sucker's already gonna be heavier than LS. Cali's Magnum crank, MGP billet aluminum connecting rods, SME custom piston package, SME custom roller camshaft. It's a Jessel belt drive, which is legit. You lose that belt, you're done, bud. You're done. You're done. <laughs> that's, a, that's a big you're done. Brodix Headhunter 383MC heads. Got the Steve Morris all billet intake manifold, dual injector up top with the second fuel rail below for the street driving. So on the dyno with this thing, with no boost, just naturally aspirated on the engine dyno, made 870 horsepower. Ooh. So she's making almost a thousand with no boost. And right over here, you'll see 
we have two packages designed for all the boosts. American boost makers. Yeah, dude, those turbos did pretty good, you know, yeah. for the LS, but we already knew right off the kick we were gonna need more turbo for this big old cubic inch engine. So we'll put these on Leroy. Put those on Leroy. <laughs> Pull that engine out. <laughs> so we got the XRP 94 103s with a 128 back housing precision turbo. That's all the pro my guys run. All the guys with the big dog cars run these things. So we were like, you know what? We'll take a set of those for our street car. God dang. Oh, golly. Just a little bit. Though. Almost the same size turbo as Ruby yeah, has. Two, Ruby's two, only got, got one. Two of them. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> dude, that is insane. Feel how big, heavy that is. Big dog, dude. That ain't light. That is a lot oh, of oh, freaking impeller wheel. Just, just hold it up next to that one. Yeah, that's for real, dude. Oh my god. We're gonna god. need a stronger turbo. Look at that. that. <laughs> so it's got the anti scatter back housing. Look at that. So if it ever does break, these bars. Yeah, you protect. can't pull a Rodney. Yeah, it's protected from doing a Rodney. Oh my gosh, dude. That thing is <laughs> monstrous. <laughs> Oh, Look at the geez. back of it. The back of it is just mind blowing I compared to this little that. tiny thing. Your back housing is bigger than that. your front housing. Look at that freaking wheel on that thing. That is insane. And the That's Alice. insane. Woo! Yeah. Ty, you better get your welding sticks out, brother. I'm going to have to stick weld that heavy unit in there. Look at that. You're going to have no choice but to stick weld this. Brother. Dude, just look at the opening. This yeah. one will eat that turbo. <laughs> you gotta keep small children back from this deal. Gosh. So this is basically the baddest turbos we've ever had. The baddest engine we've ever had. We have the baddest transmission we've ever had. <laughs> and we are just trying to build you guys a winning combination so we can go out and dominate some of these races. Step one, which starts now, removing this LS and taking it to the shop. <laughs> and bringing it to Ruby. <laughs> After it gets fixed. Yeah. yeah After yeah, yeah. we slap some bearings in it, find out what's wrong with it. We're thinking Ruby, but that's temporary. So, I don't know. If Leroy just starts killing it. <laughs> I want you guys to know that, you know, we're so committed to this content. Man, we are investing in making our race team freaking crazy for you guys. And just building these cars to the absolute max. So, Jack, Stan, and I are going to get to work, pull this engine out. Enjoy some time lapses. That boy is naked. Pretty easy to take that thing off, right? Four bolts. Our little uh, slide-ons are rusted, though. We'll lube them up a little bit. Yeah, we're naked now, boys. Let's make it happen. fits you know what though this thing doesn't look that much bigger than this i mean this has headers on it and stuff but the sizing not that crazy of a difference so here you go george you want to put this right in there buddy yeah that would be correct <laughs> Hey, we got to slide our converter off and send that off to m and m Transmissions. Send her back. Say, hey, listen here. We got us a big block now. We need the big, big bore parts on that thing. So I think they have to change out the stator to some bigger one, bigger version of it. Yeah. That thing doesn't even look like it's gotten hot. <laughs> 
Dude, look at it. <laughs> it's in mint condition. How's the fluid in there? Look, look at that, dude. Freaking. It's a little stinky. It but... looks brand new. <laughs> well, the fluid. Yeah, Hey, the fluid don't look bad, though. It's down here on the floor. Looks freaking mint. This transmission, you know, this is the baddest transmission you can get. This will bolt right up to our big block, but the converter has to be changed out and the flex plate is going to be changed out. This will be our old one. So this is a bolt together converter. So they unbolt it. They're going to change out the stator for a bigger setup. I don't really know the specifics of it. Maybe we can get a video from Eminem, but they unbolt it, change out some stuff for the big block. We gave them the specs on it. The turbo is what we're trying to do. And, uh, they should get it set up. All right, cool. Let's get this out of the way. Get this uh, ready to go out to the engine shop. And we'll grab the big block and see how it fits. Checking that thing out. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's a unit right there, brother. That is unbelievable. Yeah. I, I mean, look at the intake. Yeah. Dude, your brother bought down the Hellcat. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Steve would probably have a heart attack if he saw how we're doing this, but we're right. good. good. Yeah, Lord. No, no questions asked. Oh, this is sketchy. You got it. Her. Free? Okay. She's free. Let's free as a bird. We put it on the pan and straight it? Yeah, 100%. No, you don't want. You drop that on your toe. You ain't going to have no toes. <laughs> you can't have no toes. It's done, but it's going to be what toe? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Was a toe. Brother, this thing is top of the line. Look at that oil pan. Goodness. What's this unit weigh? Do we know? Do we know what the Do we know what the UPS sticker said or whatever? Yeah, it said uh, Team Lift. Yeah. Oof. Yeah, dude. Just the turbo had Team Lift stickers <laughs> on. <out. laughs> it literally said heavy on the bottom. Mullet is gaining some weight, brother. Brother, this is happening right now. Do it down. We're dog. I have to pull the alternator <laughs> out. Yeah, I gotta pull the alternator real quick. I'm gonna have to try to guide that side. Uh, it's the transmission. I need to go down a little bit. I'm like. Oh, you want me to jack the trans up a little bit? No, it doesn't. It's got to rotate it. it I'm going in. The motor's running uphill, though. So. Yeah. yeah, we just get. See, now there's your problem. It's just creaming the steering rack. Man, if the oil pan is just a different shape, it'd fit. I wonder. I wonder if he's got a different pan. Well, I mean, it's aluminum. We just gotta do a little. Yeah. If it's not gonna hit nothing. I don't know what he's got for a windage tray or scraper in there. All you gotta worry about is your windage rod tray. cap and, and your crank weight clearance. If you have the room, you can always shape the pan accordingly. Okay. I'll send him a picture and see what he thinks, if there'll be room or not. Dang it, I thought I was just gonna slap right in there. I was hoping. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks for Ty. Hey, brother. All I care about we got a big block in this thing. You stand back now and you just see that logo on that black intake and you know it's a pro mod now. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Full blown race engine right there, boys. But Steve Morris makes the best drag and drive engines on the planet. As you know, they've been fives with a street car and time based car. No one else has done that. So I guarantee you, we got the best of the best now. Bad unit alert yeah. right there. All right, so guys, we talked to Steve Morris. We can notch the pan, not gonna be enough. He said only an inch, so we pulled the steering rack out. We're gonna get this thing fitted in here now. And then it's up to Ty to fix the rest. Let's go down a little bit. There you go. Uh -oh. right How you feeling right now? Pretty excited, man. Dude, you know what we haven't heard in a while, brother? Let me get one. When you look at that, what do you think? Sweet honey barbecue, Sweet brother. Sweet honey barbecue. I don't know why, but it looks so golly, much more Golly, dude, you've been saying a lot of gollies today, you know? <laughs> I just gollied up, dude. <laughs> Good old golly. Where's our big old motor plate at? Dude, the sound that this thing's going to make, Jack saying? Oh, thunder. That's what they're That's big block. Yep. Ty, I want this thing running by the Morgan, bud. <laughs> uh, technically, it'll fire right up. Yeah, I know. It's the most, like, there's already a freaking <laughs> dual sync distributor in the back. We got a face yeah. Literally it comes with a bass tune. He's like, don't screw this thing up. You know what? We're just going to get it. You know what, guys? You know what, guys? <laughs> I've seen the videos. We're not redoing this. Wow, look at how much more distance that is out versus the LS. Yeah, you have to get you yeah, you see right, right in here? Space. That's the old motor plate. Yeah. Yeah, you just going to cut those yeah. off, Ty. Yeah, yeah we're going to turn those off and clean them up. Three. Two. Buddy.
Ain't gonna wheel him out with all his weight up here. We yeah. should order those front springs, so otherwise the freaking oil <laughs> pan's gonna be resting on the ground. Ooh, <laughs> let's look at the oil pan here. Oh, yeah. Yeah! We couldn't go any lower than that. Yeah, that's about maximum right there. That's, that's pretty much where she's going right there, dude. Look at you with your big block. Look at him. That's a good. <laughs> That's a good picture for MySpace right now, there. Now here's the deal. I know a lot of you guys are like, put the turbos down low. Not happening. They're going right back where they were. We're putting a bigger hole in the hood. All right, well guys, this went pretty good. Aside from having to move the alternator and having to move the steering, which we would have had to move the alternator anyway. We uh, we're looking pretty dialed. So, but shout out to Steve Morris. We're excited to be working with him. You know, he picks up the phone and just tells us what we need to know right away, which was super cool. Like we probably call him three times a day. Excited, looking good. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We will freaking see you later.